just, oh, hello, everybody. Mrs. Stewart here. Um, here I am in school. You just caught me doing my exercises. I wonder if you remember that song we used to dance around the hall to. Um, so, shall we just nip to the ICT suite for old time's sake? Okay. So, here we are in the ICT suite. And um, it might look a little bit different from when you remember it. Uh, but here's where the magic happened, isn't it, in the ICT suite when we were all together back in that 2020, um, the levers of 2020, yes. Um, so, yes, I'm still here at Darsbury. I'm teaching the children of uh, Thomas and Charlotte. Uh, their children are here and they're delightful most of the time. Um, and so, yes, we're all still here, still doing the same job. And um, I must admit, no other class has come anywhere close to you for driving me nuts. So yes, all the missing pencils that used to come in after about 10 minutes of using them, I bring a brand new pack of pencils in and they just disappear into thin air. We never worked out the mystery of that. Um, so yes, I remember lots of, lots of happy times with you guys in the ICT suite when we put Louisa in a bag and um, when we had that disastrous paper folding lesson when we were looking at fractions and I nearly lost the will to live. Yes, so very, very happy times and then obviously we had lockdown which was um, a very strange time for us all but you all did cope really well with how things changed and then we all got back together. Um, remember our picnic at the end of term? That was lovely, wasn't it? So yes, I just wanted to say hello and I hope you're all doing well. Um, and take care and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye bye. I can't believe it's been 20 years since I left Darsbury and I miss all my football friends that I used to play with and also I miss some of the teachers too such as Mrs Stewart and Mrs Roberts. I have a lovely wife and two kids who, who go to Darsbury now and as you can see I work for Cheshire Police in Warrington. One of the memories that I used to have was when I went to Conway and twisted my ankle, which unfortunately I had to miss a day of activities. Hampson, get back to work. Sorry, I have to go. Hi guys, it's me, Bryn. I've just finished my shift at Chester Zoo. I worked with the Indian bears, sometimes called the spectacle bears. I worked here for 11 years after training at VC College and University. I live in an apartment complex in Chester so it's easy for me to get to my job. I'm single but I, but I live with my pets. I have a corn snake called Corny, a chameleon called Pascal, two budgies called Charlie Featherweather and Lexi Dawn Tail and a chow chow dog called Copper. I still love gaming dinosaurs and drawing. I have recently went to, an to a holiday to Antarctica to draw and take photos of the penguins. It was very cold. I, I still can't believe it has been 20 years since I have left Darsby Primary School and also I hope you're all, all doing well. Bye! <laughs> I'm a zookeeper at Chester Zoo with all the horses, with all the giraffes, with the zebras. So yeah, I'm happily married with two kids called Eva and Harvey. And yeah, we're all happy. But I've got to go now so I can mock this out. But thank you. Bye. Hello everyone. It's great to be in touch again after 20 years. And I just wanted to say thank you to my friends and teachers for making my time at primary so amazing. Bye!
Hi, my name is Callum and I'm 31 years old. I live in Canada with my beautiful wife Sarah and live with three children, Lily and Harry. I'm a pilot and work for a company called Air Transat. I remember when I used to do football at lunchtime with Craig on a Thursday. And my classmate, Charlie Ratcliffe, used to score lots of goals and could be a potential footballer one day. Also, me and Lex used to have a competition to see who could get the most times table questions right. On hit the button, sometimes we used to laugh when we got the same score right. The spelling bee is one of my favourites too, competing with Lexi. I was also representing Darsby in the Run, Come and Win this World newspaper with regards to the new defibrillator in our school. Hi boss. Okay. Sorry, I have to go to work now to fly to San Francisco. Bye! to finally see you all again. It doesn't feel like yesterday since we were all in the ICT suite, dancing, singing, blasting out music, and doing our fractions all at the same time. Wow, that was so weird. But it was 20 years ago, which makes me feel so, so, so old right now. But we live, we live, and we move on, right? Well, I'm currently on set for a brand new movie, which will be released soon. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what it is because it is confidential, but I'm sure you'll find out soon. It is a remake of a book and it is based in the woods, which might give you an idea what it is. I am so lucky to have such an amazing family. Yes, a family. I have two amazing daughters who I love and care about so much and I have an amazing husband that is currently touring all around the USA with his band and he's doing so well and I'm so, so proud of him. I love spending family time with all my family and I love all of the memories that we can talk about and all the funny stories I get to tell my kids because of the memories that you all made with me. Like stuffing Louisa into a box when she was so small, going to Conway, which was just an amazing memory in itself. But the one memory that sticks out loads is going paddleboarding with Charlotte and thinking we saw a shark, so having to swim away. But I just loved all the memories we had and all the fun times we had in the ICT suite. All on set, please. Oh, looks like I have to go. But it was so, so, so nice catching up with you. And I hope I can do it again soon. Bye. Coming. Hi, Bobby Wright here. I left Darshwing in 2020. I am now a professional angler. I've won Fishing Mania three years in a row. I have lots of happy memories from my time at Darsbury. Lots of friends, some of whom are my friends today. I have great memories of our trip to London. All my teachers thought I was a laid-back Larry. I still am. I have lots of happy memories from my time at Darsbury. I miss Darsbury a lot.
guys, Faye here. I'm just about to go on stage for Glastonbury 2040. Um, and I just remembered about this video and how it's been 20 years since primary school. It doesn't feel like it, to be honest. It seems like yesterday where I remember we were all in that hall and we were being chased around the field with that two meter stick. That was funny. We always used to play football around us in PE and then, and then we did all of the girls versus boys and there was a load of arguments. I remember putting Louisa in that mask plastic bag or that Christmas bag and I can't remember what she got with it to be honest but well <laughs> now I have a husband and I have two beautiful children um and I, they're in the audience in the they're in the um the box and stuff and they get VIP access I never got that for anything but whatever <laughs> um so yeah, I'm just about to go on stage and um, I just remembered all of that stuff. And I remember in the hall on um, the the, fr the second to last Friday where we were like, we were all putting our favourite songs on and um, <laughs> singing along to them and putting all of the ones that we used to do in assembly and stuff and we used to sing them. And then I remember the little ICT suite where uh, Mrs. Stewart used to be cramped in the corner on the little whiteboard. And um, she used to write all of our spellings on the different on the other right board, and there was like there was only a couple of tables in there, but we all fit, and we were the smallest class actually, we were the biggest bubble, <laughs> um, so yeah, it has been ages, but it's so good to catch you up, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> I just put it in a bottle, is that what you want it done? Yes, please. <laughs> this might hurt. Oh, be that? gentle. Sorry, silence. <laughs> there we are. I'll do your clips later. Oh, sorry, I was going to fill the floor me. Hello, everybody. Hi, my name is Annabelle Stevenson. Yes, guess what? I am now married to Richard. We live in Chester in a beautiful five bedroom detached house. We have one gorgeous little two year old girl called Lexi. It is lovely to hear what all my school pals in class of 2020 are up to now. Today is a very special and nervous day as I am starting my new job as a face painter and a hairdresser. I am so excited. I can't believe 20 whole years have passed since marvellous Mrs Stewart and Mrs O'Neill taught us all. We had some funny memories at Darsbury, that I remember. Bryn stapling his finger in reception, that was a good memory. Me cutting a hole in my summer dress in reception. <laughs> I can use scissors, that's a good thing. Remember, Lexi, when you called Mrs Roberts mum? I got myself trapped in my ghost costume during the Christmas play. My best memory is me always being clumsy. Mrs Unsworth even gave me an award. Bambi on ice. Woo! I miss you guys so much and I hope you are doing well. But guess what? I got my favourite job in my favourite country. I now work as a daycare teacher. I, I, it's glad to hear that most of us are still in contact. I really do miss all those trips we went on and those little fights we had. Oh god, look at the time. I better get going. I'll see you all again. Bye you six. Hey guys, it's Charlotte. It's been so long. I just remember those days when we walked in and doing this weird cosmic kids yoga. It's so funny. But um, I am now having a level and a degree in law and I did study at Cambridge and now working in a law firm with my husband Mike. Um, I also have two kids and actually one of them's just started at Darsbury, so if you're still working there, any of the teachers, then you'll see them there. 
And then, well, I just want to say, like, I really missed you guys when we left and still do now. Well, um, sorry, I've got to go. I've got a meeting. Right, bye. And the coffee, please. Thank you very much. Greetings from your President Z Watkinson. I've just finished my first year as President of the United States. I have enjoyed making our country proud. We have become a safer country and I will continue to work my hardest to make America great. I have made important discussions to try and stop segregation. I am pleased to say I have conquered the racism that was felt by many people right across the world. I have also received a lot of money for charity and made sure all of our poorest citizens have had a shipment of essential food and have been given a place to call home. I have created a method for solving the pollution problem. My personal laboratory agents have invented a new way to extract pollution, polluted air. They have made an excellent job. My friends of year six, I'd be grateful if you could forward me your ideas for further improvements to our life in the United United States of America. We will continue to be heroic. America will be great again. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. It's good to see you. Hello everybody, it's 2040 and Mr Crumble is going to show you guys some memories from when I was in school 20 years ago. Let's see what's in my spotty bag. Ah, I remember when Miss Stewart put Louisa in a Christmas gift bag. It was so funny. How about we see if Mr Crumble can fit in one? Now, I know it's a lot smaller and I'm a lot bigger, but we'll see. Whoa, 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 yeah, I think I might leave that one. Okay, so what's next? Let's see. Now, I know this happened to everyone, but I've been scarred for life because of a naughty, naughty boy called Charlie R. He pulled my chair away when I, when I needed to sit down. What this trick in the book? It was funny though. Okay, let's see what's next. It was funny when we were in Conway and the fire alarm went off. We were all outside in our PJs freezing. What's that? Here. Who on earth set that fire alarm off? It's time for Mr. Crumble to go now, everyone. Goodbye. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I'm Christopher Robinson. Please come and stay to Oh, hi.